Debbie Birch. I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about Ken Island Day which is Saturday May 17th in downtown historic Stevensville and I have Jack Broderick with me. He's the uh, president of the Ken Island Heritage Society and also chairman of the the, Ken, the parade committee for Ken Island Day. So he's going to tell us what's going on that day. It's a special it's a special celebration for Ken Island. So Jack welcome and tell us a little bit about what Ken Island Day is about and what happens that day. Great. Thank you, Debbie. Um, well, as you said, it's a very special day for Ken Island. Uh, Ken Island is a very special place. Um, as you know, it's the uh, third uh, oldest English-speaking settlement in the U.S. It was a uh, satellite colony of Jamestown okay. dated back to 1631, actually before Maryland was founded. Created yeah. a little bit of political Before St. Mary's. Before St. Mary's, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and we, we feel it's, uh, it's important to celebrate this uh, really rich heritage and culture and history uh, of Ken Island. Okay. And uh, since 1977, when the governor designated uh, Ken Island Day each year, um, third weekend in May, uh, we've held that celebration. And uh, it takes place in downtown Stevensville. Great little Mayberry-like setting, wonderful it, place. So it's right on, right in the streets. It's the right streets in town. We get down? we okay. get the okay from the uh, from the sheriff and the state police and the state highway guys okay. who run the roads there uh, to close the road down that day. And uh, we have our parade in the morning, and then we have our event uh, all day long. Okay, um, and. What what do you have at the event? Is tell us a little bit about the vendors you have, or what's going on during Great. the it. event? Is a it's really a community fair uh, okay. kind of an event. Uh, we have a number of vendors uh, from the local area, um, including It's the Pits and a number of other folks. Uh, uh, we have a variety of food there: pizza, crab cakes, uh, barbecue. Okay. Chicken, ribs, um, great, great day. A little bit day. of everything. So Hot nobody can complain that they don't like what's there because there's everything. <laughs> That's right. Um, um, kids will enjoy it. Um, we've got activities for the kids. Um, pony rides, moon bounce, uh, face painting, magician, flea circus. Okay. Uh, a couple of those things are new this year, so we think the kids are Flea are circus. Really I haven't heard yeah. that in years. I don't, I don't want to say you're dating yourself or I'm dating myself, but I remember flea circuses. Well, <laughs> one of our board members came up with that, and we think that'll be a very uh, a very special uh, part of Ken Island Day, and we, we think it'll be entertaining both for the kids and the uh, the older kids like uh, like myself. Okay, now I have to ask. Yeah. We have a slide here with Uncle Sam. What's the Uncle Sam all about? Uncle Sam, uh, he's an interesting guy. Um, our Uncle Sam is a fellow by the name of Bob Marsteller who uh, lives in Frederick, but he loves Ken Island. Okay. And he owns the old historic bank oh, in, okay. uh, right in on, Stevensville. Right in downtown. Right on downtown. And he rents that to us for a dollar a year. And we maintain the bank and we're able to show it and display it as one of our historic sites. Okay. So he's a very special guy and uh, uh, likes to help us celebrate. So he comes down as Uncle Sam and uh, oh, how nice. is in the parade and then uh, hangs around for the day to enjoy the day. Very and add, nice. Add to the great atmosphere. So the, um, open, the historic sites that are down there, are they all open during this? They sure are. And we've got uh, a number of really, really neat uh, historic sites there. The old post office, the bank, as I mentioned, uh, the Cray House, which is over 200 years old. Okay. One of the original um, cabins or houses in what is now Stevensville. Uh, the old train station uh, that was up on the Stevensville railroad track and brought down into town a couple decades ago. Okay. Uh, old caboose um, sits by the station. Uh, so all those sites are open all with right. um, uh, our docents who tell great stories and kind of bring a face to our our uh, our heritage and our our history. We'll also have uh, some colonial reenactors oh, okay, setting great. up an encampment and there to talk about how it would have been living in the colonial days. And we'll have a working blacksmith in the back behind the cray house. Uh, okay. Working uh, working his craft. So you have a lot going um, on. We've got a lot going on all day. What um, what is um the kids with costumes? I you. 
if kids want to dress up, they can come in costumes? That or? would be wonderful. Um, and we would certainly invite uh, any kids that want to be in the parade Okay. Uh, with their families. We've got a number here that will uh, we'll show they can call that number, and we welcome any and all groups uh, in the parade. We're going to have a... Uh, a historic play put on by the Lighthouse Christian Academy. Oh, very nice. During the day um, as part of our uh, entertainment. Is there a time um, for that? The uh, the time, I believe, is going to be uh, 1.30, okay. but I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure on that. Well, but you just need to get there early can, and yeah, stay all there, day. <laughs> get there and double check that. <laughs> we'll also have on stage entertainment uh, during the course of the okay. day with the, uh, the uh, Chesapeake Bay Community Band. Oh, they're good. Uh, the Shield Very School of band. Dance, the uh, Queen Anne's Youth Chorale. Um, so we'll have a number of folks also entertaining uh, and on the stage. Is that the day. is that like right in downtown, or is that in the park, the Pocket Park there? And for those of you that it don't is, know where the Pocket Park is, it's behind Rustico, and that's where the train station is and the Cray House. Um, well, the the Cray House Green uh, is in that train station location. The uh, the Pocket Park is over next to the bank. Right. With a small little. Uh, uh, gazebo, gazebo type, type thing. deal right. with uh, flowers growing on okay. it. The stage will be set up there. Okay. And we'll also have an artisan's tent. Oh, nice. Uh, where we'll have a number of uh, local artisans and crafters, quilters, model boat builder, okay. uh, decoy carver, um, and some other neat, um, neat exhibits there, including the Kent Island Treasure Club. The oh. guys that go out with their metal detectors yep. and... Uh, Dig, uh, dig around in some archaeological efforts, uh, showing some of the stuff that they have found. Uh, Very um, nice. Active Kent Island history. Um, also, back behind the bank, in the rear of the bank, is a really neat mini museum where we've got some old duck decoys carved on the island. Okay. And some, uh, some artifacts that were uh, found on Kent Island dating back to the very, very early Native American days, including some arrowheads and... Uh, Okay. Spearheads that came up on a, uh, a clamor's rig, which happens oh, wow. quite a bit around the right, island. Right, right. Our old friend uh, Billy Baxter donated those to us uh, years ago, and we're very proud to be able to. And they're in share the bank. Those. They're in, in, the, in back the back of the, of the bank. bank. Yep. Okay, so anybody um, that wants to that see those. And that will be open specially that day also. Okay, so this again, it's May Saturday, May seventeenth. Opening ceremonies are at ten. The actual. Festival fun and everything starts at ten thirty. Ten thirty. The parade will kick it off at ten thirty down okay. at the uh, Ken Island Elementary School, and then come from Elementary Way right in town, and then curve right. right down through the middle of town. So, if you're right there in the heart of town, you'll have a ringside. You'll see seat everything for a, a really neat parade. Um, scouts, uh, lots of kids, lots of some old cars, um, uh, police and fire units, um, horses. Uh, a couple local school bands. Okay. And of course, this being an election year, probably we'll lots have of a lot of local politicians <laughs> in the parade. They add to the to the color and there you the, go to the fun of the deal so, of the day. Um, uh, it's it's a really neat day, and it's a great way to uh, to celebrate what Kent Island right. is all about. Lots of food, fun, and friendship with uh, with good neighbors. Okay, and we're gonna post uh, the contact phone numbers and the website and an email address so if anybody wants more information or wants to volunteer they can contact the numbers that we have up there and um, we're just invite everybody to come out for Ken Island Day on Saturday May 17th. Great day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you Debbie very much and uh, again I'd like to extend the invitation if anyone would like to be in the parade come on out we always have room in the parade. All right thank you. Thank you.